Hello aspirants, looking at important headlines from the Hindu newspaper for 10th December. On the front page, you have this news, Center amends rules for minorities from three nations. So these are the minorities from the nations, Pakistan, Afghanistan and Bangladesh. So the six minority communities from these three nations, there, for them there will be a separate column in the citizenship form when they apply for the same. So though the citizenship amendment bill 2016 has, is still pending in the parliament, the government, the home ministry has notified amendments to the citizenship rules 2009. So act can be amended by parliament, rules can be amended by the executive. So this is the changes made that is detailed here. This is very important. Then this is let experts review GDP data. So this is ex-CEA, ex-Chief Economic Advisor, advisor Arvind Subramaniam who says that there is a controversy over the GDP data, the back series GDP data. So it should be allowed to be reviewed by experts. And then on page 3 down here you have this news, a modern makeover for the traditional head. So this is class 9 student. Babula Gorda from remote village in Orisha's Ganjam district who has improvised a traditional Talari hat used by farmers with some modern technology. So this is smart Talari. So you should know about this hat with culture perspective too. Then on page 5 you have Kannur put on aviation map. So this is a new airport, a greenfield airport. A greenfield airport basically means a new airport which has been established in a new place. It's not an old airport revived or modernized. So, it's a greenfield airport, a new airport opened in Kerala, Kannur. In Kannur, so it, Kerala now has four international airports. And this is after launch, GSAT 11 awaits 200 crore ground system. So, gateways in four cities to deliver high speed broadband via giant satellite is required. So, here you can see there is still work that needs to be done, investment that needs to be done here on, after GSAT 11 has been launched. Then on page 7, you have Jika norms flouted in bullet train project. So, this is Japanese officials who met farmers over led, led land acquisition. So, officials of Jika, Japanese, Japan International Cooperation Agency, held meetings with farmers, their representatives, and activists opposing land acquisition for this Mumbai Ahmedabad bullet train project. So, the Jika is funding the project. So, this uh, you can see the norms have been flouted here, has been highlighted by them. On the editorial page, the first editorial, current account wars. So, this is the editorial talking about how proper structural reforms are needed to boost exports and reduce dependence on imports. So, that we don't have current account deficit every time oil prices rise or prices, you know, and exports also need to be pushed. Then the second editorial, death in the air. So, this is regarding air pollution. It says it is time clean air is made a frontline political issue. The lead article, Delhi and Paris, a tale of two cities. So, this is regarding uh, you know, how protests are taking place here. So, it says stirring reminders of the distance travelled and challenges ahead in securing human rights. So, this is there. And then you have a party at the crossroads. So, this is again political, you can skip it. Then on the op-ed page you have tyranny of the majority. So this is again with respect to elections. So it says that how the India is bombarded with electoral rhetoric that is shown of care for citizens who inhabit dissolute worlds. So marginalized and neglected. And then this is organizing the community of leaders. You can skip this. And this is unimplementable orders. So it says there are two recent judgments of the courts which look like they will remain on paper. So here you can see some of the judgments which have been uh, you know, highlighted here. So it says one is the uh, that each high court to designate as many sessions and magistrate courts in the concerned states to try criminal cases against sitting and former MPs and MLAs. So here this judgment it will remain on paper because we do not have that much strength. The government has informed the court that there are 4,122 criminal cases pending against MPs and MLAs. So, it will take time for these cases to be covered up. Then second judgment which is talking about is regarding witness protection scheme. So, here also again there was so much protection being able to provide them. So, it has been a little, article is a little critical on that too. Then on page 11 you have Navy on major capability upgrade. So, ensures presence of at least one major ship at choke points. 
so this is regarding that then on international page you have bahrain criticizes qatar emir for not attending gcc summit so this is regarding cooperation council we have seen qatar how it has also stated that it will not be part of opec anymore so it did not attend this gulf cooperation council meet too so it is accused of being siding with iran it's a shia country so it's uh, you know it has seen the wrath of saudi arabia and other allies of saudi arabia on it so it has now decided not to attend gcc summit also then on business page the important news is Urjit Patel makes statement with his CRR remark. So this is regarding the, uh, the RBI Governor Urjit Patel. He had uh, made a statement that CRR decision is not in the ambit of Monetary Policy Committee, the cash reserve ratio. So this is a news analysis on that. Then on Mondays on page 14 you have business review. So here this is the coverage given on infrastructure road construction in the country. And this is regarding gst collection you so you can skip it to it's actually an interview so it's the chairman of the 15th finance commission whose interview has been taken here then this is the world may turn flat for indian companies thanks to sebi panel so amendments to key laws are needed before the suggestions can become a reality is what the article says then on the last page you have bioplastics may not be a viable alternative to plastic so here bioplastic which is often promoted as climate friendly alternative to petroleum based plastic but the article argues that this may also not be as viable an alternative because for bioplastic also cropland expansion would be required which would further increase greenhouse gas emission so you know, it's even you know experience with biofuels has shown that this effect is not a Theoretical speculation, the increasing demand for green energy sources like biofuels have massive deforestation. So those consequences are also there. So these are the important headlines. For detailed coverage of current affairs, you can visit our website asha.com in the current affairs section. Here you can see the detailed PDFs are uploaded also and you can get the details of the current affairs course as such too. So the PDFs are uploaded here by the end of the day every day. You can access them. So that is it. Thank you.